Hey there YouTube, back here again today with another DIY video. Showing you how I store my spoons. A nice simple way, keeps them untangled and keeps them from getting all scratched. Don't have to worry about that paint getting chipped or those nasty tangles anymore. Just need a, simple, a few simple things. A deep storage container. I like this one. 3700 series from Plano, the deep series piece of two inch foam and grab your trusty old knife pretty simple all righty let's get at it all right first thing cut your foam down to the general size get it real close to the size you want and then cut it to fit the contours this box happens to have cutouts here we're going to make for the latches most importantly, you want to cut it so that it's tight. You want to cut it so it fits nice and tight so it doesn't slip and slide around. So it may take a little trimming to get the size just right. And like I said, make sure it's snug. Another thing to watch for these boxes is this corner needs to be beveled. Bevel this corner down so that the box will slide all the way down. I just want to cut off a little chunk off the corners here. It doesn't have to be too specific, I mean, it's just foam. Alright. Alright, need to trim it down a little more. Make sure to bevel the corners. So it slides in a little bit better in those corners. Alright, give it another shot. I think we're probably really close. There we go, alright. Nice, there we go. Like that. There it is, now. Just grab your trusty knife. <clears throat> grab your spoons. You know, on these big spoons, obviously, they can't go straight up and down, because they're too tall. So, you just put them in an angle. So, you just gotta angle your knife. And I just like to make a slit in there about the size of what you're gonna need. And then just slide your spoons in. And it'll be nice and snug there because they won't fall out. So then I take the hook, hook it in, there you go. And we'll keep at it here, let's grab some more. Same thing again, just make a slit. And you can keep adding. If you hook your hook to if you hook your hook to the side, you'll be able to put another spoon in underneath of it. There you have it. And you know, just take a while. You can put a ton of spoons in here. Tons. See, and then shake it. Oh. You got a loose, you got a loose hook. Loose hooks are bad because they'll tangle. So tuck that hook in. There we go. Nice and tight. Now let's get the rest of these bad boys in. All right, here is the completed spoon box. Show you how we got it here. Here we go. Just a lot of spoons in here. All right. Close her down. There we go. Just a product. This cost you, I think, ten bucks for the plain old tackle box and a piece of foam. Home Depot, I think you can buy like a small like four by four square for a few bucks, you know, 10 bucks. Check the description below. I'll list everything that we use to make these. Appreciate it. Make sure if you like this content, comment, let us know if you want more. Like, subscribe, you know what to do. Pretty sweet. There we go, another DIY from MLO. Later.